I'm Robert Bruce Thompson and this is the Home Scientist video series. In this segment we'll make thin layer chromatography or TLC plates. You've probably done chromatography using paper as the stationary phase. TLC substitutes alumina or silica powder coated on an inert substrate like glass or metal. TLC provides sharper separations than paper and is widely used in real chemistry, biology, and forensics labs. Unfortunately, commercial TLC plates cost a buck or two each for a plate the size of a microscope slide. Homemade plates cost only a few cents each, and most of that is in the cost of the microscope slide. If you recycle used plates, the cost is even lower. The only downside is that making your own plates can be pretty messy. Other than stationary phase and binder, all you need to get started is a supply of microscope slides or other glass plates, a disposable container, disposable pipette, stirring rod, and tap water. I'll use aluminum oxide as the stationary phase and calcium sulfate hemihydrate or plaster of Paris as the binder. Aluminum oxide, also called alumina, is available as a powder from uh, lab suppliers and pottery supply stores. It's also available from telescope making sources in various mesh sizes. If you don't have alumina, you can use cornstarch or talcum powder as the stationary phase. Calcium sulfate is available from lab vendors and hardware stores as plaster of Paris, the hemihydrate form we need, or as the dihydrate gypsum. Gypsum is also the powdery core of drywall board. You can dry gypsum in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for an hour or so to convert it to the activated hemihydrate form. Okay, let's get started. I've already mixed the alumina and the binder and added water. You use about uh, 1.25 milliliters of water per gram of alumina and uh, roughly 15% by weight of the binder, the uh, plaster of Paris. And stir it until you get uh, a fine slurry. You want absolutely no lumps or bubbles. And you have to work quickly because you want to get this used within about two minutes. So, take a microscope slide and draw up about a milliliter and a half, perhaps two milliliters, and simply squirt it onto the slide. And I'm wearing gloves here, but that's not because the slurry is at all hazardous. It's to avoid getting fingerprints on the slide. Distribute it out over the slide evenly and simply lay the slide on a paper towel. Make sure you don't have any bubbles. You can dress it up a little bit and go on to the next slide. Once again, once the slurry is mixed, you have about two minutes to work before it hardens. So uh, once you get used to this, you can do a slide about every five seconds when you're in production mode. So five seconds is a twelfth of a minute, uh, and that's usually what I do is about two dozen slides over the course of two minutes. As we've seen, making TLC plates can be pretty messy. Fortunately, TLC plates can be stored indefinitely, so you'll probably want to make up a good supply each time. I generally do batches of a couple dozen slides. You have to work fast, as I mentioned, because the slurry begins to harden as soon as you add the water. Start with small amounts your first time, and you'll soon get a feel for how much slurry to make up at a time. Once the plates are dry, store them in a slide storage box to protect them until you need them. Before you use them, activate the plates by drying them for half an hour or so in an oven at its lowest setting, around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Unused plates can be reactivated repeatedly, so I usually just dry the whole box, use as many as I need, and then return the unused plates to the storage cabinet. After you activate the plates, spot and develop them just as you would a paper chromatogram, and allow them to dry. Treat the plates gently. The coating is reasonably durable, but it will flake or peel off if you treat it roughly. Incidentally, this procedure isn't limited to microscope slides. You can make up larger plates on window panes. To maintain even coating thickness on large plates, run a strip of masking tape down two opposite sides of the plate and use a stirring rod to spread and level the slurry. To recycle old plates, just scrub them with a stiff brush and soapy water. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.